Hi peoples, Billy the Crayon here, and welcome to Fishing Planet. Now, you probably had a chance to play Fishing Planet, and you probably hit at least level 3, and I'm going to show you what I am going to buy for my first purchases at level 3. Um, level 2, the only thing you really get is the, uh, uh, well, the only thing you really need to get is this, the uh, fish stringer. And now we're going to get a few more pieces of equipment. Uh, we don't really need this fish stringer just yet, I don't think. Oh yeah, this one's, this one's a premium one anyways. I don't, I don't have the, uh, I can't afford that one. I'll probably be waiting until this one maybe, or Let's see. But uh, for now, I'm going to get a few things from here. First thing, because right now, if you go here, uh, you're gonna see your limitations if you go down here. You'll see you can only have one fishing rod, one um, thing of fishing line, and 10 pieces of tackle. I think tackle includes your lures and baits and your actual uh, like hooks and stuff hooks and bobbers things like that then you also have this little home button here which you don't get if you're actually in Missouri or like it on a fishing trip uh, you have to end the fishing trip in order to get to this screen which is what I recommend doing uh, which basically brings you back to here uh, I recommend doing that before you go and purchase stuff because then when you go to the store, you're actually seeing everything. Unlike if you're just still in Missouri, which is like the starting zone kind of a thing. So we don't, we don't have too many rod, rods that we can pick from right now. We already have a telescopic rod, uh, so we don't need another one. Um, and match rods we don't have. Casting rods and spinning rods are the two that we can go with right now and there's only one available of course and it has a it can support a line weight of three to seven pounds so we will pick this that's 25 and now we need to pick a um, reel and fishing line um, now the thing about the fishing the reels is that uh, you have to look at the max drag mainly because that will tell you how um, uh, how much it can hold uh, 4.5 pounds is pretty good but right now I don't think we have but that that one's a premium one anyways kind of I call the gold currency premium uh, it's not technically but yeah it's what we're going with and for line there's the three pound mono line here uh, this stuff's too expensive and there is this which is four pounds so what I will do is I will get um, first of all you want to make sure you're on oh yeah you only get the spin spinning reels right now anyways so I'm gonna go with this spinning reel it's $55 and it supports three pounds and then I will get the three pound uh, test line you want everything to be the same you want your you want to make sure your rod can support that draw that that weight and then you also want to make sure your reels and your lines um, have the same the same test test strength. Uh, except not, then you can run into some troubles. So, yeah. Now, fishing tackle. There's a few things we're gonna need here. 
well, mainly one, which is this. Uh, this will allow you to carry two rods, so I can keep my original rod that I got, and plus I can carry this one as well. And then there's also a denim jacket, and this, this will allow you to carry more lines and more tackles. So right now you, we can uh, carry 10, 10 tackle, and now it says two, two fishing rods, as you can see, and two lines. So what we're going to do is go back here. And we're gonna get this. This will allow us to get an extra line and some tackles. And this will allow us to carry the same. And we've still got plenty of money left over, kind of. So if we go back here, um, we can go here now. Uh, now there's nothing equipped here, but if you go home, go back to home here, you can see we got our rod, our reel, and then the line ended up dumping into here, which is this one, the three pound test line. There we go. Now hooks aren't going to work on this particular type of a, a system, because this one is more of a spinning one it this is a different type different technique of fishing so um, that's why I, I got this one so we need a different what we need is one of these which is a spoon um, and we're going to be doing spoon fishing basically and you can get various different ones here I'm actually going to get uh, let me see here Uh, I'm going to be getting these kinds right here, and I'm going to be getting a little bit of each. And with these, the cool thing about uh, this type of uh, thing is you don't actually need to buy bait for it. And I'll show you how that works uh, soon enough. But as you see here, um, these go down into this area here. So we're going to put this, uh, or is it, yeah, I'll put this, I'll try uh, this one actually. First of all. And that's pretty much all we need. And we still, I still have plenty of uh, money left over. Uh, I didn't buy any money from the premium shop here. I didn't put any money into this stuff. Um, it's just what I got by the time I hit level three. So yeah, um, this is just like one type of uh, fishing that we're gonna be trying right now. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, get going, shall we? So we're gonna go here, uh, Missouri, uh, it's going to be a cloudy day, let's make it two days, well there we go, <laughs> just wanted to take a long time. Okay, so as you see, our tackle is here. We got our both types of rods here, reels and everything. And as you see here, I'll show you. You see, there's a lot less types of rods and reels and stuff that you can actually pick from here. Just showing you that there is less equipment 
at this one. So yeah, anyways, let's go fishing. So I'm going to start out here. It'll have my first rod, but I'm not going to use that one. I'm using this one. This, like I say, this is a completely different setup. And this one you can only do overhand casting. This one here, um, the one that you've, pro you've been using for a while, um, you're probably used to the underhand casting like that. which uh, I'm not going to keep this in here too long. No, not getting it. But you can also do it overhand by hitting F11. By default, it's F11. And if you, if you press right-click, then it allows you to um, uh, aim where you're going to be casting. Or you can just leave it like this and just hold the button down. Now I don't want to actually cast this right now so I'm not going to worry too much about that because I want to use my new rod. In this one like you cannot do underhand because or maybe you can. But I don't know why you'd want to. <laughs> But yeah, so what we do is, you see this one, it, we can also cast this one much further back. So we're going to cast this out. I think I screwed that up. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. I fail. There we go. That's more like it. So now the idea is we want to reel it back in and we can like slowly like twitch the line like this a little bit. just works kind of like that and you'll get uh, pred predatory fish with this method such as trout but the type of day is going to cause me issues here or uh, not really the type of day but the weather especially We got something. Look at that. Young largemouth bass. Okay, Kurt. And let's uh let's try down this way. Yeah, bass are kind of like a um, predatory fish, which is why this technique will uh, work for them. They go after smaller fish and stuff like that.
And you'll see there on the right side, it'll say, it says lift and drop. That's the type of technique that I'm currently using. I'm kind of like pulling it forward and then lifting it up a little bit and then just dropping it back down. And the three dots tell you that you're doing it like really good. You're doing that technique good. But there's other techniques that you can use too. Oh, I got my uh, line snagged here. Okay, let's not break our reel. Okay, I'm going to just um, break the line here. And that's why I got 10 of these. Because I knew that that would probably come in handy. Because uh, you can break the line, or you can like do damage to your rod and reel too, which I don't want to do. I only bought one of these. <laughs> but for now, let's put the time ahead. About 11 o'clock-ish. And let's try again. You also want to keep an eye on your line tension because uh, that can be a really, uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, you want to see how the, the real icon showed up there? That's because the line tension was a little much. So keep him. Well, yeah, uh, basically this video is mostly about uh, um, figuring out how to uh, set up your rod, at, like buying new equipment and stuff like that. Pin. So as you see, we're going pretty consistently here, and it's not too difficult trying to catch uh, bass fish. Later on, when you get better lures and um, better equipment, you can catch the even larger ones which I still might do with this setup every now and then, but um, the bigger the fish are, then the higher level stuff that they use generally.
But I think this is going to be it for now. Just wanted to show you basically how that works. And yeah, for this type of fishing with a spinner reel, with a spinner setup, um, basically the moment the um, the lure and everything like disappears, then you know you got something on the line. Got something. There we go. Nice. I just see him. How close am I to getting level four now? Let me just check here. 127 out of 200. But uh, I think I proved my point. Uh, showed basically how you can uh, get this done. It's uh, nothing, nothing too special. But uh, that's going to be it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about this. Uh, the main point of this video was to show how how you go about buying stuff on the uh, in the shop, um, how you set up your rod and reel and everything, because it can be confusing at first. You don't want to get a uh, you don't want to get a two pound reel and three pound test, you know. And you can save your money if if you're not. Uh, wasting it by uh, experimenting and seeing what works with what because if you try using the wrong type on here like if I try to put this on oh it works oh because it's lower yeah if you try to put like a, a higher test line on it then it won't work right it'll uh, give you an error message things like that but uh, you know, let's, I don't know if it'll work this way yeah, line is too strong for this reel. There's a risk of damage. So you want to use the uh, smaller, the two pound test for this one. And this one, the three pound test. And that's basically all there is to it. Um, yeah. So that's it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Do you want to see more fishing planet videos or do you want to see other games uh, let me know let me know what kind of fishing videos you want to see um, but yeah that is going to be it for now I'm not gonna leave this just yet because I'm gonna stay here for uh, the next time I play because it keeps you in this particular uh, uh, fishing trip it just saves it so right now I'm at day one and then maybe uh, next time I play I can finish up day one you know, I can fill up my um, my fish keeper here the fish stringer which can have almost nine pounds of fish on so I'll finish that off and then I'll skip to the next day and sell all the fish from this one and then just keep going like that so, 
yeah, uh, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, like I said, yeah, like if you if you want to see more of these videos and stuff, uh, especially like if you want to support me, uh, click that like button. You know, uh, share the video, uh, leave the comments. All that kind of stuff helps. Uh, it helps me. Um, it helps my uh, videos and my channel grow. And it just helps me know what kind of content you guys want to see. So, again, that's it for now. And until next time, guys, have a good one.